What is non-current assets? Or the other term used is called fixed assets. What are the categories, the explanation about that, what headings come under that is going to be covered in this video. If you would like to know more, stay with us till end of the video. Hi, this is Milad Akbari and welcome to Akbari Education. Today we are going to cover what is a non-current asset or fixed asset. Let's directly jump to the video. Content. What is asset? What is non-current asset? Non-current assets, major categories, non-current assets, major headings, and a non-current asset presentation in the balance sheet, how it's going to be presented. There is a practice question and we are going to test your understanding. So these are the contents, but there is a new part which is going to be added to the video. It's called test your understanding. Uh, we have received some comments, some ideas that please insert some questions for us that we solve. And now the same, it is going to be appeared in, in, inside the video. And these uh, questions are only for you. Based on the content that we are explaining, you will review that. And based on your knowledge you gained, you're going to reply to us inside the comments below your understanding of the idea you have taken from that okay we are going directly to beginning with the what is asset asset is a resource with economic value it means there is economic value with that that an individual or company or country owns that so anybody can owns that or controls that it means they have the full power of usage and utilizing that with expectation that it will provide a future benefit what does it mean whether you are using that, suppose you have a computer, you are using that for vi uh, video editing and you are generating income from that. Or you are going to sell that. When you are selling that, you will receive some cash and that's benefit from that property or asset that you have. So that will give us the nature of assets. N the assets mostly categorized in two parts, which is non-current assets and current assets. There is another video which we, we, we are going to discuss about the current asset, but here we are discussing the non-current asset in detail. Based on the explanation, read this question and insert your answer below. Kindly remember that if your answer is wrong or right, everybody else have, is allowed to come and explain that inside the comment. It's not a big deal. And we are reviewing your comments and we will insert the correct answer and guidance and explanations also beside that. Okay, what's non-current asset? Non-current assets are a company's long-term investments for which the full value will not be expensed within the accounting year. In a state, it is capitalized as assets. What does it mean? For the nature of non-current asset, you're not going to record that as an expense. It will be capitalized because it is a long-term investment. Another name given is fixed assets. So it, it, it will be considered as a long-term investment and it will be capitalized within the balance sheet of the company. And during the periods we are using that, we are going to charge it as expense. There is another video as the name of the first year. We will come in, in going forward uh, in these slides on that as well. So they are typically highly illiquid, meaning these assets cannot be easily converted into cash. What does it mean? They are illiquid. Suppose you have a building and compare that building with uh, like something very similar. Like I, I can I, I can tell you the treasury bill of the USA, a treasury bill of the government. Which one is easy to sell, or even the cash? Which one is easy to convert it to the cash? Cash is already cash, but if you consider the non uh, the treasury bills, it's much more easier to go and convert it in money market in comparison to the building because of the procedures rules exist. So the non-current assets are more uh, in type of illiquid 
condition and it's tough a bit to change it to cash. Then current assets appear on company's balance sheet. So it's part of balance sheet, not the income statement. Also known as long-term assets, that's the name. I, I told you fixed asset, mostly it's calling that. Their costs are allocated over the number of years uh, the asset is used. This is a very important, which is called the depreciation and appear on the company's balance sheet. Okay, what does it mean? When I purchase a computer and I, I'm planning to use this for five years, I will bring that and will record it in the balance sheet as the name of asset, as the name of non-current asset, which is like computer. And that computer will be utilized to provide me economic benefit in the future. That's why a portion that is used will come inside the income statement and will be recorded as an expense which is called depreciation. There is another video, go for that. The full explanation and examples are there. Then current assets fall under three major categories. Three major categories exist for that, called tangible assets, intangible assets, and natural resources. These are three categories. We will go ahead with the full explanation about that. But up to the, the area you have studied, learned from these slides. Please provide your response inside the comments. In continuation, the tangible assets are typically physical assets or property owned by a company such as real estate and equipment. Very simple. If you can touch that and there is physical presence of that asset, then you, you will consider that as tangible asset in simple word. Intangible assets are goods that have no physical presence, although they may be created, such as a patent. Intangible assets can also arise from sale or purchase of business units, such as goodwill. What does it mean? Th there is no physical presence with that. You, you cannot touch it. That's only a value. I, I, I don't know how to say, but it is a something which have a value, but there is no presence, such as patent. Patent, what does it mean by patent? Suppose you have created this pen, and uh, uh, I mean, you have invented that pen, and you are giving this opportunity to a company called like XYZ, and this XYZ will do the manufacturing of this product. And they, you, there is a contract between you and him that, okay, uh, whenever I'm selling this product, I will give you 10 cents per sale. That is like a patent. That's like a, a, a bonus that's coming to you, a commission coming to you because you have invented this. And examples of that can be trademark, franchise, can be copyright. And the goodwill is a bit different. Like what, what, why we say that from the purchase and sale of the business units, we are, we are going to generate the um, intangible assets. Suppose there is a business with $100,000 of value, but me and him agreed that uh, I will purchase that for $110,000. There is a $10,000 extra I'm going to pay for the assets or the company which the value is 100,000. Why? The reason is the good name, the good performance and the, the, the familiarity or the the audience that they have, the customers, the suppliers, or even the, the employees that exist. So that's the goodwill of the company. That's why I'm paying higher to purchase the same company of $100,000. And that portion of goodwill will come as an asset, but there is no physical presence for that. Natural resources are assets that come from the earth. Simple, like you have the uh, fossil fuels, like you have the uh, I, I can say the gold mine, the silver mine, the salt, what, whatsoever, whatsoever, even, even, even the forest, anything can come under the natural resources, which is mostly owned by the governments. Let's continue. The headings, the major headings under the non-current assets are mostly come as an investment, as a property, plant and equipment, and tangible assets or other assets, which is not here. Investments. Let me give you an example. Suppose um, you, you know now that Warren Buffett is one of the, I, I, th I think he is the CEO and one of the biggest investors of Big Shire. And the Big Shire is providing like two types of um, shares, C and A, I think. Yeah, yeah. 
if I'm wrong, sorry for that, but this is as per my knowledge. Uh, what what the big shares do is target, ta they, they are targeting the small companies or big companies or the, the, the bright value companies, and they are going to invest on that. Such as, as I heard, the big share is the second biggest investor in Apple. What they will do, they will purchase the shares in Apple and that investment is long term and that will appear in the balance sheet of Big Share as the name of investment as, as part of non-current asset. So we have the property plant and equipment, which is the machineries, building, the manufacturing plant and, and whatsoever. Intangible assets, I told you, and other assets, which is not part of that, if exist, will come under the name of other assets it can be different yeah remember the presentation can, can be different in various balance sheet as well question three review that and insert your response in comment below please the presentation of the balance sheet this is a very simple one you can see we have here is the assets of the company so it means that we have assets inside the company inside the balance sheet, the, the full explanation, remember there is a video as the name of financial statements, explanation and elements, go and full explanation about the presentation and elements exist there, but as a simple word. The assets come inside the balance sheet, but as I told you, the, there are three, two categories under that, mostly which is non-current asset and long-term asset, which is called a non-current, sorry, current asset and non-current asset. We need to consider, and the total of them together will build up the what we call is the assets. Total asset will be the addition of non-current asset and the current asset. This, these two together will build up the assets. So for the portion of non-current asset, what headings I told you, like investments, like property, plant, and equipment, like intangible assets, like. Uh, anything else, any other assets will add up together all and will build up the non-current asset total or long-term assets. But consider there is accumulated depreciation, go for the video of the depreciation and accumulated depreciation. It will give you the full explanation there. It will come, if it's not, it, at the time you're hearing this video, if it's not presented yet, so wait for that it will come and full explanation with the example and everything will be provided to you there is a practice question already i'm sure with the readings you had with the explanations and the question you practice you are able to cover that but let's go ahead jump what is a practice question for us what's the difference between tangible assets and intangible assets a tangible assets are physical assets very simple it's okay till now while intangible assets are non-physical assets yeah it's fully much with explanation but don't accept i mean don't finalize your choice by reading one go to the rest of the choices as well tangible assets are highly liquid no impossible because parts of non-current asset and they are illiquid while intangible assets are illiquid so first percent that's wrong uh, C. Tangible assets cannot easily be converted into cash while intangible assets come. It's the similar of above, which uh, none of them can be convertible to cash very easily, means they are illiquid, so both of them are wrong. Tangible assets have a finite lifespan while intangible assets do not. Let me go to the finite and infinite lifespan. For most of the physical assets, except the land, there is no um, finite, uh, except the land, they, they, they can be finite lifespan. Like, you know that you're using your computer for five years, like suppose your, your uh, car for like 10 years or around about your building for 50, 100 years. But for land, it's a bit tough. That's why land is not depreciable. Uh, but for intangible assets, the same exists. Like most of them can be with the finite life. Like you have a contract for this pain with the company that they are going to pay you the commission or bonds for that of around about 10 years. So you're depreciating that. And the word depreciation is not used in a state we are using the amortization of intangible. It means a similar concept of depreciation, but a different one, intangible. 
stay with us there is a video for that going to come or already in the playlist see see that one so that will be depreciated during the period we are utilizing that assets or there is like goodwill we don't know that how much time it's gonna exist the good name gonna exist with the company but we are checking that whether there is impairment or not they are advanced accounting standard backing up this terminology or explanation i have given you stay with us we will go in detail with that so the best answer and the correct answer we have and the simplest one is the a this is the answer thank you so much for staying with us till end of the video i really wish that it, 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 it is a useful video for you and give you the full explanation so a kind request kindly like subscribe and comment to the video and share this video with your friends your colleagues your classmates that they have issue with same similar uh, terminologies and explanations thank you so much have a nice time bye bye